Hi everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm the Families Minister at Bishop Hennington Church. Welcome to you if you're part of the children's groups at BH or at Holy Cross, or if you're a grown-up who's with them, or if you're just someone who stumbled across us on YouTube. It's very nice to have you all here watching. Now over the last few months, Buzz Lightyear here has reminded us of how the good news of Jesus went to Jerusalem and beyond. We've been hearing from the book of Acts uh, in the last couple of weeks particularly about Philip and how God helped him to take the good news to people in Samaria and then to a man from Africa. And today we're going to hear about another person who, want, who God wanted to get involved in spreading the good news. But before that could happen, he needed to change. Now I've got some things here that have changed. First of all, we've got some apple juice. Now, this juice used to be something different. It was, well, it was apples, wasn't it? But now those apples have been sort of squished down and sorted out and turned into a nice drink. What else have I got? Well, I've got a, a glass jar. Now, this glass jar used to be, well, can you guess? Does anyone know what glass is made of? Well, it's made of sand. And it's only when that sand gets heated up to a really high temperature that it melts down into glass. From sand to glass, completely transformed. Now lastly, I've got some socks. Now you might think that these are made from cotton, but actually these socks are made of bamboo. Now I must confess, I don't really understand what on earth they do to bamboo to make it into socks, but apparently they do. It's transformed from hard sticks into lovely soft socks. Well, there's another amazing transformation in our true story from the Bible today. We'll hear how a person who really hated Christians changed when he met Jesus. His name was Saul, and he's actually already made a very brief uh, appearance in the story in the book of Acts. I don't know if you remember the story about Stephen. He was killed because he told the truth about Jesus. And Saul, the man from today's story, was there watching. And he was glad that Stephen died because he was angry at anyone who followed Jesus. As we look at Acts chapter 9 today, See if you can spot what it was that made Saul change his mind. Now, for today's story, you've got a choice. I've picked two videos from YouTube that I think retell the story really well. One of them is a bit more of a cartoony style, and the other one is, uh, has a bit more of a grown-up look. And you'll find the links to both of those down in the description below. Or you could just Find Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 19 and read it out loud together. Or you could do all three of those. Either way, now's the moment to stop this video, go and listen to the story and then come back here to finish the session. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. Well, whichever version of the story you listen to, I hope you spotted how Saul was completely transformed by God after he met Jesus on the road to Damascus. What a difference! Before, he hated Christians, and then he became a Christian. Before, he was working very hard to stop people telling the good news. And afterwards, he was a chatterbox for Jesus. If you look, in the, the later chapters of Acts in the Bible, you'll see 
that Saul spent the rest of his life traveling around telling people about Jesus. Uh, it usually uses the other version of Saul's name, Paul, but it's the same person. God even used him to write some of the books in our Bible. What an amazing transformation. If you want to do a bit of transforming this morning, well, you can print out the craft and colouring sheets uh, and then you can transform a piece of paper into uh, a lovely colourful picture or uh, a little house like this one. For that, you'll need uh, a picture of Saul and one of Ananias. Then you can decorate them uh, and the house too. Then cut out the doorway, stick the two men inside and fold it up to look like the house on Straight Street where Saul stayed when he was blind. In a moment, I'm going to put some questions on the screen to help you think some more about today's story with your families. You'll need to have your Bibles open at Acts chapter 9. And it's important to do that, even if you've already listened to the story or watched a video of it. And that way you can check if they missed out anything important. You can also think through for yourself what God is saying. God loves us to read his word and he's promised to help us to understand it and to use it to transform us, making us a little bit more like Jesus every day. Well, let's pray as we finish. You might like to put your hands together and close your eyes to help you concentrate on talking to God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for changing Saul and helping him to be a chatterbox for Jesus. Please help us, by your Holy Spirit, to understand the Bible and to grow a little bit more like Jesus day by day. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy thinking a little bit more about Saul now with your families and uh, have fun and do come back and join us again next week. So I'll say goodbye and God bless you. <laughs>